Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial of the Tatty Teddy CD-ROM. Today I'll be showing you how to add shadows and a 3D effect to your project using the drop shadow. Here we go. First of all we need to create, uh, click create new project. And I'm actually going to use an A5 portrait. So that, there we go, A5 card portrait. So we'll double click and we'll go into the Me To You disk, which is down here, and double click, which it will open up um, all the contents. Um, scroll. Now I want to find an, an image first, and I'm looking, so I've double clicked on it, I'm um, looking for a little teddy with flowers um, for just a, a, a Me To You card. Uh, here we are. I'll click and drag. Uh, a nice one with flowers. A bunch of flowers. Um, and to use the um, drop shadow we need to go into the options and then we need to click drop shadow so it adds a little 3D shadow effect here. We can actually make it more blur, less blur, uh, blurry, <laughs> and we can also give it some transparency here, and we can also make the distance go a little, the shadow go a bit further. So um, I usually like it round about there, just a little bit. Of, that's it, just so as it's subtle. There we go. Now we want to go back into our library because I want to put um, a, oops, I've clicked out, sorry, double click, I want to add a paper. So I double click on the papers again and I want a deep pink border um, firstly, so we need to narrow that. Reduce it to two. Just a little border around the edges. And then we need to right click, arrange, and so we need to send it to the back. Okay. Then we need to um, get a lighter pink, which is here. So we'll get that and then reduce this um, just so there's just a, another little edge here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shadow also on this pink but I'll get it to fit that lovely and we need to send this just not backwards but totally to the back but send backward so that just takes it back one so there we go but now I want to drop shadow on this frame. So I go back into options and then I click drop shadow again so it'll add a little bit of a 3D effect on the side. Just narrow it just a touch more like that. There. And I just need it a little bit deeper, the border, I think. On the blur about there, so we've got a sort of like three D effect on the front of the card. So now I need to go back into my library, and I want a sentiment. So I want to go back again, um, and this will be in the greetings. So we click greetings, uh, scroll down, and I just want me to you. So. Um, let's have a look. Um, no, I think I've passed it. I think I have. I think it was near the near the front. Oh, I'll just have 
just just for you there and obviously it's a little bit big so what we're going to do is narrow it right down there we go um, right. I want to change the colour so I will go into options and uh, we can go in here and we can use any colour obviously I want a little bit of a deeper pink there we go just for you and then we press save to save it um, and I will save this to my desktop um, tatty teddy flower and so I'll press save and then all we do to just print it is press print and share and send to printer and then we can print it out thanks for watching okay bye